In this video I'll be showing you how to fix Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix for the PC. This video is for educational purposes only. This fix will include a fix for making sure that you can actually install the game on modern day windows, higher resolutions, higher aspect ratios, custom frame rate, custom field of view, windowed mode, a hard mode fix and a frame rate counter. This fix is brought to you today by myself and the rest of my team also known as Fix Enhancers. So to start this off by default if you try and install this game anymore on windows then you will find that there will be a pop up blocking you from being able to do so. The reason for this is because the certificate for this game is no longer valid and is out of date. There are two methods to get around this issue. If one method doesn't work for you, you can try the other. So the first method, which is the easiest method, is to come down to the bottom left hand corner of the PC, type in CMD, and then on the right hand side, click the run as an administrator button. Once you have CMD open, you want to type in where your disk drive is located. So this is where the CD drive is located. For most people, that would probably be D. So you would type in D and then colon and then press enter of course if it's a different letter for you then you will put in the different letter and then a colon and press enter after you've done that you then need to type in auto run.exe as this is the installer exe file and then once you type that in and press enter you should then see that the harry potter and the order of the phoenix installer will then pop up on the screen for you and then you can go through the installer like normal and you'll be absolutely fine as doing the game from this point onwards so if you want to do the second method all you need to do is come down to the bottom here where start is click on this and then you would type in date and time settings however i've got it over here in my recent so i can just click on it all you need to do from here is where it says set time automatically you need to untick that you then need to come down to where it says set the time and date manually and click change then once this box pops up you then need to change the date back to 2019 so you could just put the 1st of january 2019 the reason you're setting it back to this time period is because this is when the certificate was still valid for this game then once you've done that you can just click change so it sets that on your pc after that you can go to where the auto run installer is is for Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and open it up so it opens up like normal and then as soon as that has opened up and you actually have the installer in front of you you can come back to the date and time management area from before and then you can go back to where it says set the time automatically and then just tick this back to on and then just carry on through the installer like normal. So in order to be able to use our fix you will need a no CD crack for the game. For obvious legal reasons I cannot provide you or direct you to this. This is entirely down to the user to deal with themselves. You will need to have gone and booted up Harry Potter and the Order of the phoenix at least once you'll need to either start a new game or go to a continued game that you've already been playing and go down to the video options and change the resolution down to 640 by 480 once you've done that you can then quit the game so before you go and get the fix i need to explain something very quickly so that everyone understands this regarding our fixes and all of these fixes will be the same going forward something that might happen with these fixes is when you download it through the browser or potentially depending on what antivirus software you use you might find that the fix might get flagged up. Now to explain why this happens, what our fixes do is they use something called hooks. To explain this in a really simple English way for everyone to understand, our fix, the DOL file, will basically use a hook in order to edit the code within the normal game, in this case the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix exe file, where you need to change specific parts. This is how you're able to change the code within the exe file so you can edit all that. This is why it will come up like this because of course the average user is not supposed to be using hooks in order Order to edit exe files this is why browsers and some antivirus softwares might think this looks a bit suspicious there is nothing actually wrong with it these are all false flags if you come down to the first link down in the description and the pinned comment it will take you to this website here which is github github is where we host all of our fixes for all the games that we fix up now this one is a little bit different to the other fixes that we've done and this is because of the way the game's frame rate works so just to explain it quickly the game's frame rate is extremely unstable on modern day systems and is also not built properly meaning that there were quite a few edits that were required in order to make it stable once again so what we decided to do in the end with this game is to actually create a 60 fps fix and a 120 fps fix and the reason we created these two is because they are stable we have checked both of these fixes all the way through from start to end on the game and they've had no issues whatsoever and also because if you start increasing the frame rate above 120 frames the game completely breaks and it cannot cope with higher frame rates also these two frame rates are the most commonly used frame rates across the board with casual players and also i guess speedrunners so in picking the fix that you want to use you're going to want to either choose the 120 fps fix or the 60 fps fix whichever frame rate you wish to use obviously if you have a 60 hertz monitor then you're going to need the 60 frame rate fix if you have a monitor that is 120 plus then you're going to use the 120 fps fix so pick the one that is correct for you and all you need to do is simply come over and click that and then it will download it so once you've downloaded the harry potter and the order of the phoenix fix it will obviously be downloaded to wherever you've saved the file for the sake of this tutorial i put it here on my 
my desktop so it's easy to showcase to you all. So here it is, the HB5 fix. So I'm going to open up this folder. And this is the file that you would have downloaded, which is the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix fix. And of course, depending on what frame rate you chose, in my case 120, it will say that. This is a zip file. All you simply need to do here is just right click it and then click extract all. And then when you extract it, it will then create a folder like this. And then when we go inside of this folder, you'll see four files. So obviously you've got the readme file, which explains basically how the fix works and everything about it. So if you want to read that, feel free. Otherwise, the main fix files are these three files right here, which is the D3D9 DOL file, the D3D9 INI file, and the FBS.DOL file. So once you've got these three files selected like so, all you need to do is either do a control C and a control V or a drag and drop over into your HP5 folder. So now that you've copied all three of the files over into your HP5 install area, you now want to open up the D3D9 INI file. So now that you've opened up the D3D9 INI file, you can set up the following options. So let's go through them each one by one. So starting off with the display FPS counter. This displays a frame rate counter in the top left hand corner of the game on the screen while you're playing it. So if you wish to have that turned on, then all you have to do is change the zero to a one. Force window mode. If you want to play the game in window mode instead of in full screen, then all you have to do here is change this zero to a one. Full screen resolution. So of course for this one, you want to put in the resolution that is specific to your monitor. So if you're playing at 1920 by 1080, for example, then you would put in the number two over on the left hand side. In my case, I'm playing at 4K, so I put in the number four, which is 3A40 by 2160. Full screen aspect ratio. So this is the aspect ratio of your screen or monitor. So by default, the game is 16 by nine anyway, which is what most people will be using. So you won't need to touch this at all and just leave it at zero. However, if you have a different sized aspect ratio, then you will want to change the left hand side number over here to whatever you need over on the right. So for example, if you have a 32 by 10 aspect ratio monitor, then you will change the number on the left to the number five. FOV, also known as field of view. I do need to make something very clear with HP5. The further you go out with field of view, i.e. the higher the number you go up to, the more texture popping you are going to see on the sides and the bottom and top of the screen. I personally recommend that the best option you can go for really is 59 or 60. You will get hardly any texture popping here. Also, if you don't want to change the field of view at all, then you just simply leave the FOV equals zero on the left hand side. And finally, you've got the force window mode options at the bottom. So if you chose window mode earlier, then you can start playing around with these options at the bottom. Of course, it's entirely up to the user using window mode what options they want to use down the bottom here. So I will leave it up to you guys to play around with these and see what works best for you. Once you made all the changes you need to to the INI file, you can either press Control S on your keyboard or you can come up to the top here, click file and then save. Another aspect of the fix I want to talk about here is hard mode. Now, of course, if people have played this game on PC for years, they'll know that hard mode is extremely broken on this game. However, since we've done our fix and done quite a few updates for this game, we have actually done multiple runs now all the way through the game on hard mode. And we've done this on both the 60 frame rate and the 120 frame rate fix that we've made. And we haven't come across a single issue on hard mode once. And we've been able to complete the game every time. So we are of the belief now that the hard mode is now officially fixed with our fix. So I'm going to recommend that people start playing on hard mode again and should be all right playing it all the way through from start to finish. And lastly, the other thing I want to touch on is this issue known as the bridge crash. This is basically where you get a mini cutscene that plays at the bridge that goes to Hagrid's hut. This is not actually a bug. This actually happens due to the fact that the game that people have been downloading and using off the web for so long has actually been a corrupt copy. This copy of the game is not a complete copy that's been uploaded properly. It's actually got errors in it. There is no way to fix this. So all I can say is you need to find a better copy of the game, which is not breaking. And of course, due to legal reasons, I cannot provide you with a proper copy of the game or show you where to download it from. Finally, with the fixes going forward, we have created a thing called feedback forms. This allows us to collect all the feedback from you guys in one easy to find place. So if you go to the second link down in the description and the pinned comment, it will take you to the feedback form. Of course, here you can also let us know any bugs that you run into and we can easily take a better look at it that way. Otherwise, that's all there is to this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you need another fix to another PC game out there, then I will have links down in the description and the pinned comment where you can go and check out all those. If you have any issues, just leave a comment and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, I hope you guys found the video useful and I'll see you in the next fix video very soon. Thank you.